I've been having some weird dreams lately. Like, there was a cop that wouldn't let me pass on the sidewalk unless I could show my license. I, I knew I was asleep, but I literally had to get up, find my wallet, look at my license so that I could go back to sleep. Like, it was doing my head in. And then I made friends with this fey girl. We got married. The sex was good. Although our child did have pointy ears, which I was mad about because she said it would be human. That's definitely an elf. Like, that was part of the agreement. She asked me if I wanted to get married. I'm like, yeah, sure. So long as we have normal human kids. Elves were not part of this agreement. What, why am I upset about a dream? To be clear, I'm not racist against elves. It's just the fact that she lied to me. That's very naughty. Why have she not lied to her husbands, even if they're fake? Right, so what am I doing with my life? That's a good question. I am on my fourth week of the carnival diet. Things are going well. Haven't shit my pants in ages. That's I like that. I have the IBS. Had. <laughs> Things are going pretty great. I am probably a little dehydrated because you need so much more water on the carnival diet. It's ridiculous. Also... My fey wife became my fey wife because she offered me blackberries. I'm not sure if that's a sign or not. But I'm not craving them now, so we should be fine. Now that we've looked at the micro, let's look at the macro. I am going to move to India to make small farms more profitable. And then eventually um, fix the entire planet while making a profit. Which sounds way more badass than moving to India. So I need to find a way to word my entire life mission -y thing and possibly make a website? Because that seems appropriate at this point for some reason. Like, the plan is to fly around the planet giving seminars and doing projects to, like, make the planet green again. I just need a name for that, and a catchphrase would be cool too. The last night I came up with Garbage Gardener, because if you garden with garbage, you're doing pretty green things and it rhymes a little bit kinda I think it's called alliteration but it's not aggressive enough for me heh <laughs> Meg is kinda cool make earth green again that's entertaining and yes I do realize that using the elevator after and before the gym is possibly an oversight but I really really like my ankles to remain intact I mean, I walk 20 minutes here, I walk 20 minutes back, and I do an hour at the gym, I think the elevator's okay. I'm hoping if the water tastes good, I'll drink more of it. Also, I've decided to spend the day with Dad because he does have an appointment today that he will probably not go to if I don't show up. <sighs> I suppose I need to call him. He could back like 30 seconds later. Anyway, about that badass name that I wanted. You know, for street cred. Mother Nature's Maverick. It sounds really cool. I like it. Now, obviously, I've got ADHD and I get really excited really easily. So I'm going to let that simmer for a couple of weeks. And if by the end of this semester, I still like it and no one else has taken it, I'm buying the domain website. Yeah, doing the thing. So I've got five eggs there, which is expected. And there's another one over there. Fed, dressed, ready to go. I probably shouldn't, but I am... Enabling YouTube so that I can listen to something while I drive to dad's and back because That's like 40 minutes to an hour drive and It's very boring Right, so it's 5 p.m. I finally caught up on sleep. I've been to the gym. I did three things for my dad paperwork mostly and Got a massage and had dinner. I'm pretty I'm pretty chill right now. Did I mention it's 5 p.m.? The very official bedtime routine, which I definitely do every single fucking day, uh, starts at 8 p.m. I do not stick to this bedtime routine. It's just my ideal, if I can. So effectively, I've got three hours to do with whatever I want. It's 6 p.m. I've walked the dog. I've had a phone call. I've watched YouTube shorts for like 10 minutes, which is a problem. I can't delete it right now because I'm planning to edit and upload my videos. It's very annoying. I just finished editing 40 minutes worth of video. It took me three hours. It's now being uploaded onto YouTube. I am now going to read a little bit 
and then go to bed. I slept in. I did not need to sleep in. I did not want to sleep in, but I slept in, and this is entirely my fault. So if I drive to the gym, that cuts out 40 minutes, and I should get everything done on time. 7.30, I'm at the gym. Honestly, I'm probably going to make this a short one. 20 minutes at the gym, and I already feel like I'm running late. So I was definitely running late, but I managed to catch green lights all the way to university, which is weird, because usually there's a lineup. Um, did the practical, left early, because it was easy, and apparently it's the last one, which means exams are coming soon. I should probably figure out when they are. So I'm going to have lunch, play table tennis, do a small assignment, figure out the timing for all these exams, and then watch lectures, one after the other, after the other. Water, eggs, patty, salmon, sardines, <laughs> oyster. <laughs> Doggy! It's 2pm, let's get started. It's 5.30 to finish my assignment. I mean, look at this. Look at this. It's beautiful. Look at this one. Okay, that's not so pretty. But this one. So pretty. If I don't get a HD, I'm going to spit chips on this one. So pretty. All done by hand. Not so pretty. So pretty. It's 6.30 p.m. and I'm full of beans. And pork belly. I can buy it from the shops like roast chicken. It's amazing. Oh, I'm excited. I may have come up with the perfect name for my thingy. I sound crazy, don't I? Um, the travel the world making the planet a better place thingy. The, the big thingy. It's such a cool name. But I'm not telling you. Give it a couple of days. I'll buy the domain name. Good morning. I've made my bed with two extra layers. And I have cute little piggy blankets. Pillowcase. I woke up at 5am today and I did not appreciate it. It took cold. The mealworms have been watered and the chickens have been checked. And I've got five buck nuggets. The best part, I only just realised I have gloves for this. It's so cold. Oh, it's nippy today. It's 7am and apparently it's 3 degrees Celsius. I had dragon's breath, you can't see it, but I had it. I don't have to be at uni until like 11. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with myself. Definitely gonna jog to the gym though. So cold. It's very appropriate music. I have to do leg day and I'm very sad about it. I kinda like the hood. That was good. Good gym session. I'm about to die, but I feel great. My little toe hurts, so I'm fixing that with a band-aid. I am then gonna go get some new insoles for my shoes. Don't know if you saw that, bad angle. And then while I'm in the area, I will go pick up those plastic bins for the mealworms. But first, I need to get... Oh, oh, dear God. No, 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 no. Oh, thank God. So much better. Y'all saw me naked. My pinky's been hurting. I think it's how I hold my phone. All right, I'm going to go get some plastic bins. And if I can't find the ones I want, I guess I'm going all the way to Elizabeth, which is a 20-minute drive. Got some King G. Oh, I don't like them, but I'll give them a week. For $10 each, these ones would fit perfectly. 20 divide 5. For $4 each, these would need cutting down. And for $12, these giant ones might fit one of them. Oh look, the cheap ones fit inside the expensive one perfectly. I think we know we're going to cut it down, aren't we? There's an issue with this giant one. I won't be able to get it out because it's too big to handle. I'll just buy the cheap ones and see what I can do with them. That's 10 of them and I've got myself a little lamp. I nearly died in a horrible car crash. The light went green. I took off like a shower of shit. Except it wasn't my green light. Thankfully, I was pretty quick on the break. <sighs> that was scary. Also, I think I've made friends with the parking inspector. I know him by name, and he said, Ah, don't worry, I wouldn't give you a ticket anyway. I, I didn't know that was an option. Lunches, kippers, they taste really good. Eggs, tuna, and another beef patty. Don't get me wrong, they are fancy beef fatties, but I am getting so tired of them. 5pm, just finished my last class, I'm going home. Don't know what I'm doing after that, but I'm definitely going home. Dinner, four sausages and some fish, a couple of roasts in the oven, and breakfast. For tomorrow, obviously. I'm awake before my alarm, sleeping in this jacket really helped, and also the fact that I've got a project. Oh right, the thing, I'm calling it Gaia's Maverick. You know, Gaia, plants and shit, the thing I'm doing my degree on. 
Maverick because I'm a crazy person. I've already bought the domain name, and by the time this uploads, I will have the YouTube channel, the Facebook, the Instagram, the X, and the TikTok, and anything else I can think of, because it's mine. My cute little name. It's going to be like a vlog blog thing with references and stuff. And interviews. Yeah, interviews make sense. I, I can do interviews. It's going to be a collection of all my cool things. Yeah, that's, yep. Hey, 30 nippies, hell. <laughs> I still can't see it. Um, I need to leave in an hour. Holy shit. So last night while the oven was on, I roasted some lamb mince. I did it a little too long. But I'm going to be honest, I am appreciating the crunch. I'm going to catch a train soon, but... Oh my god, look at that duck. It's just in there. Yesterday was leg day, I've got the wrong insoles, my pinky's doing something weird. T today sucks. Oh, that's right. Because I have a field trip in the city today. So I thought I was going to have to go from there, take the elevator, up to there, and go all the way down there, and wrap around to the car park. There's a second elevator, which I am thankful for, because my toe is killing me. I am once again awake before my alarm, because I'm winning a life. Yes, it was pretty simple. I went to the SA Museum for a field trip, came back to the university, watched some shitty presentations, then went to the pub and forced myself to relax. I also managed to sketch out a logo. Um, you can check it out in the link below. And if it's not there, it's because I haven't uploaded it yet. Come back in a week, you'll be fine. Right, I've got a friend coming around. She's going to help move some heavy shit. Uh, but she doesn't like getting up early. It's 8 a.m. So I am going to make lines on these things and then cut them. That sounds like a duck. Anyway, I found a problem. Um, this cracks. How does one cut that kind of plastic? So the angle grinder works, which is terrifying. These plastic burrs are very annoying. It fits perfectly, though. They fit perfectly in all of them. I am going to go buy some more and a deburring tool because I was doing it with a Stanley knife and that does, that's just not safe. They had neither the deburring tool nor the boxes that I wanted. Although there are some other boxes on special, which I might check out later, but I'm on a time schedule right now. So I've moved some things around. I used to have a chair there. I now have storage that I can get to easily. Room for the lawnmower. And there's my beautiful little chair. And the lamp up there should be at the right angle and not blind me anymore. I got taken out to a Korean barbecue today. I was thinking, meat diet, lots of meat, we're good. No, everything had marinade and they had some of my other favourites. I made mistakes. I will be suffering for the next few days. But I did notice something. I definitely, definitely ate enough. But I was literally starving once I left there. I'm thinking it's because when we ingest sugar, our bodies are like, ooh, we like that, give me more. And because I have not been eating sugar, um, my body's like, give me more. Long story short, if you're not hungry, have some sugar, give a half an hour, you will be hungry. I had myself a burrito and some juice of some kind, and uh, I'm dying right now. It's no, just no. So I'm just going to go to bed and hope for the best. Night. Night, night. I am sorry, buddy. I am not taking you for a walk today. I am dying, you cute little shit. Today is a slow start. It's 9 a.m. I should probably have a shower, right? It's 11.30. I feel like trash. I've just bought a deburring tool. I should be doing university homework, but it's not due in like three weeks. And I really need a win, so I'm working on the mealworms today. So these ones here are $6. I don't have to come down so they fit right, but they're probably the cheapest plastic ones here. However, these ones are $7, don't need cutting, and are made of metal. Now they are a little short at only 8 centimeters, but that's a non-stick coating. I think we have a winner. So for lunch I ate four whole apples. The theory here is that the fibrous mass acts as a giant plunger for my digestive system, and I don't have to suffer anymore. It's not so bad anymore, but the quicker the better. Not sure why, but the ants are going absolutely spastic today. 
Anyway, those trays that I was talking about, I bought 70 of them. I'm not sure it's enough, to be honest. So before these, I was using these. And before I gave up on them, I decided to put a lid on them. And it works. They're trapped. Although, they're trapped. I can't imagine that's good for them. They work fucking splendidly. They don't fit in this one, though. Luckily, I made a whole heap of these things, and they fit perfectly. Which is kind of lucky. Although they are currently covered in plastic dust and I have no idea how to get that off. Nearly 5pm, the mealworm's done. I've also done a load of laundry, which means all of the laundry. And I've also done nothing else. I'm going to have some food now. I'm starting to feel better. Walking the dog, another win. Hell, I might even go to the gym after this. Right, at 6pm, I've got three things I want to do. Go to the gym, work on my logo, and shower. And it would be inefficient to shower and then go to the gym. So gym, shower, logo. Because I can work on my computer whilst I'm in my towel. And yes, you did need to know this. Can you get the visual? Nah. Sometimes I wonder why I don't have any friends. And then I do shit like that. Not gym has a different vibe. Bunch of lads offering to spot me. And a couple of teenagers giving me shit for leaving after an hour. I mean, I don't mind it. I was supposed to have a shower before I started doing logos, wasn't I? Oh well. It's Sunday morning and I'm up. Wait, I'm awake. Awake and going to the gym. Wow. ADM just finished at the gym. I am feeling good right now, although I am concerned I might not make it to the toilet in time. Yay for ABS. Right, so today I... Stared at a screen for three hours, screaming because the program would not do the thing. I'm using ArcGIS, and apparently you're supposed to have one shape, and then you're supposed to be able to cut it with another shape, and then you get the middle shape. And it just wasn't working. Didn't matter what button I pushed. No. I gave up. So then I got on SolidWorks, a CAD program, and did a little sketchy poo of my logo. It looks badass. And then I took one of my clients out. I have the link to the website and all the things down below. Um, it's still a work in progress. So if you go to click it and it's not working, it's because it's not done yet. Come back in a month.